Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today, uh, so, before I get into this, uh, I fell, I woke up this morning, like, you know, got dressed and everything, and I went downstairs to get coffee, and then, as I went, was going downstairs, I slipped on the fucking, slipped on the fucking <laughs> chairs and fell down, now I have a fucking cut on my arm, right at my humorous bone, which isn't very humorous, I must say, um, but, anyway. Today I'm going to be reading more of my younger selves' stories. Where we left off, we were in the middle of... We weren't even the middle of, we were like, we had just started. We had just started at Catacula, which... This is the one I remember the most, simply because it's just, it took up so much of my Excel for writing this. But, um... Yeah. Today. So I think we left off on chapter, um, chapter four. Basically what happened last time was that Sparkles made a extremely ridiculous jump in logic and now all of a sudden we're in chapter four with her again. Oh boy. Chapter four. Cole just told me that he heard noises last night. That proves that I was right. How does that prove you're right? <sighs> he could have been hearing stuff outside the house. He could have been hearing the house settling. He could have just been hearing the Oliver walk around. It could have been anything, dude. But apparently, younger me thought that this was just an amazing leap in logic to make. <laughs> This morning, I decided I was going to stop Oreo because she might want to take over the world. <laughs> this fucking... What are these leaps of logic, younger me? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> She's apparently set in a trap of some, some kind. Um, I put a bunch of garlic in the kitchen, and tonight I'm going to set a trap. Ah, uh, of course, garlic. Boo! <laughs> chapter 5. Oh boy, these chapters are really short. Like, that one was like two sentences. Actually, let me check real quick. I probably got that wrong. Yeah, it's, it's... Literally, like, fucking three, like, fucking four sentences in that entire chapter. Mm. Great job, young, young me. You're really doing the word count. Sparkles just told me she was going to set a trap for Oreo tonight. That's a horrible idea. There could be many explanations for the half-drunk carton. Maybe one of the kids went downstairs to get a drink and couldn't get the top off so I had to poke holes in it. Great, great leap and why, why? Fuck. God, this isn't even the craziest that, th that this gets. Trust me, this gets so much more insane as it goes on, I remember. This Sparkles just doesn't want to believe me. I guess I'll have to try and keep her from harming an innocent kitten. And the garlic idea was just not right. I can't believe our owners. I haven't noticed the smell. Mm, yes, of course. Duh. Not right. Not funny at all, mate. Not funny at all, bitch. Fucking shithead. Oh boy, so we're at chapter 6. These chapters are going by so fucking fast, it's ridiculous. Hmm. It's almost 12 midnight. Really? You, ha you had to write both of those, huh? 12 midnight? Right, because 12 doesn't... Yeah, okay. Uh, I sit the trap and I hear noises. I'm not sure who it is. 
I've been trying to find a way out of this jail cell. Hmm. Of course. Now I'm trying the vent. Oh, so this is in, this is in first person present tense now. Wait, it was, it was always that. What the fuck's going on? In grief. Then I remember that I had stuck into this room the night before. I go into the closet and pull out a chainsaw. Hmm. That's an image. A cat using a chainsaw. Very funny. Not really. What the fuck? I set it to silent mode. Chainsaws don't have a silent mode. What the fuck? He cut a hole in the door. Just then, Oliver heard it. He get... Oh, I see. Because he's a dog, and dogs have higher hearing abilities than humans. Therefore, they that he'd be able to hear the chainsaw. What is going on anymore? Um, begins to bark. Elle is about to wake up. That's my sister. So, I ran out of the hole, forgetting to glue the piece back in. Then I hear Ella charging down the hall to her, to her parents' room. There's no way you could, you could have gotten that far away, Lily. The way that hallway worked was, okay, so stairs are here. Like, you go over the front door, and there's the stairs down to the basement, and there's a stair out to the, like, main floor. And in front of that, there's, like, a staircase that goes up to where bedrooms are. And you go forward, and that's, that's where their room was, mom and dad's room. No, that way, that's where our rooms were, basically. And, yeah, no way in hell. No way in hell she didn't see Sparkle, basically. I don't understand why younger selves thought Audrey here. Um, when she tells them about the hole in the door, they come to see it. Little does she know, like, move the piece back into the door. How? Okay, yeah, now there's really no fucking way she could have not seen you. <laughs> Good lord. She may have been fucking eight years old in this story, but she's not that dumb. Jesus fucking Christ. Just remember, I forgot to put the chainsaw back. Oh well, I suppose that me and her will be a call to 911. Why? It's not like anything dangerous happened. There's just a chainsaw sitting in the middle of the hall. Like, it's not exactly a 911 call event. If someone was in the house, using it, then maybe, but if it was just sitting in the hallway, what? So I hurry down the stairs to carry my file part of plant. I fill a plastic tub with ho where did you get holy water? What, are you a priest? Are you, are you a priest cat? Did you learn how to consecrate fucking water? What is going on? Place for the refrigerator. Hmm, of course, because that's a smart move. Whatever, I'll just have to see how it looks in the morning. Wow, that was, that was a chapter and a half. I'm starting to really get into the nonsense chapters. Yeah. God, calm down. You're fucking ten when you wrote this. Chapter seven. I woke up this morning and found out the police were in the- Why did the police come to the house over a chainsaw in the hallway? That does make fucking sense. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what in the name did Sparkles do last night? It must have been terrible. I walk into the kitchen to get a drink. When I go to the kitchen, I find a tub of water. Mm, so he didn't know it was the holy water. So at least there's internal consistency there where the one character doesn't know another character, like, doesn't, like, yeah. Sees water, just thinks it's water. It's not- No, he doesn't immediately think it's consecrated holy water that sparkles to some kind of Catholic priest all of a sudden. Okay, I, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to find upsides anywhere I can. Ugh. I went upstairs to Ella's room to find out what happened. Why would you know that's where- The fuck? When I pushed in the door, a piece of it fell out. When I looked in the room, I saw a chainsaw on the floor. I thought it was in the hallway! I'm beginning- I think Sparkles has gone cuckoo. Hmm, of course. Of course. Uh, my guess is in her plot to get out of Elba's room, she used a chainsaw to cut the hole. Yes, very amazing deductive reasoning there, Sherlock. You're so amazingly smart. How could you piece that together? Last night when I was sleeping, I do remember hearing the dog barking. How, what? The chainsaw in the hole would explain why the police were there. Uh, yeah, figure out it's out of water. Garlic still hasn't been noticed by the family. How can they not? Uh, I wonder. That's interesting. 
Oh boy, this is fucking ridiculous. This is nonsense. This is trash. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my lord. Chapter 10. Hi, I am... Oh wait, I already scared. That was the right one. Chapter 8. There have been some weird goings on in the house. Last night when I got out of the room, the door next door was open. Also last night I saw Oreo in the kitchen. Why didn't she notice why didn't that why did why, why wasn't that told in the last chapter that she had? I know, because Sugar Me hadn't thought of it, that's why. Oh my god. Uh Cole has been trying to get our owners to notice the garlic spell in the kitchen. How? He's a cat. How would he... Whatever. Today, one of our owners knows the smell. I began looking for it. All I have to say to that is, oh man, I thought the garlic idea was really good. Mm, yes, making... My god, what is wrong with me? Uh, apparently... Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, wow. There's- oh, I forgot that there's fucking three of these I wrote, Jesus. Oh my god. Uh, there's three of these? How? Oh my god, how did I not remember that? That is, um, it's fucking hilarious. Anyway, uh, now we're in chapter 9, with Cole again. Our owner has finally noticed the garlic smell, which is great, as I was about to get rid of it myself. Do you have opposable thumbs or something? How? Earlier today, Oreo came near me and bit me. I thought, holy crumb. Mm, yes, I didn't know curse words or something. She bit me. Then I remembered what Sparkles said about the new cat being a vampire. I decided not to tell Sparkles. Who knows if Sparkles is right or not, but if I tell her, she will surely try to kiss Aria herself. Oh, of course, duh, that's totally something that would happen. Um, I am out of my mind right now. That is ridiculous. Um, mm, chapter 10 already. Interesting. That means we're halfway through it. There's 20 chapters in this one, apparently. I need to sit up straight, Jesus fucking mother of Christ. Okay, so. Um. Um, chapter 10. Hi, I'm Orion. Oh, our first Oreo chapter. Right. That's cool. Me. I don't know why Sparkles is trying to get rid of me. I've decided to call her the evil one. By the way, I'm a, I'm a cat vampire. Oh, okay, so right off the bat, we know for a fucking fact that she's a vampire. Just she told us, of course, it sort of makes sense. Uh, please don't tell Sparkles or how. What is it? A fourth wall breaking in my ten in my ten year old self's fucking story. Of course, back when I didn't know what fourth wall breaking was, very very amusing, very cool, um, very neat, I suppose. I do remember back in cold today? Oh, it's nighttime. I have to get away from Sparkles. Bye. Oh boy. Um, chapter 11. There have been some weird goings on here. Ah, basically the exact same as her last chapter. I mean, that would have been a cool idea if I did that for every chapter she had, but no, that would... Just, you know, if I can fame or something. There's no coherency in this at all. There's I mean, so far this entire story has taken place in the fucking house. And... I remember that house very clearly actually. I can I could probably draw a map of it and very fast and quickly and show you guys, but nah, I'm okay. 
Phil's been getting up at night and going in the kitchen. I'm starting to think there is something seriously wrong with him. He's been running away from me as if he were a vampire too. My god, this bitch is psychopathic. She is so dead set on this vampire thing. Oh my god, I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that, that would be really... Actually, that's a cool idea, someone being so obsessed with their... Someone being conso so consumed by their own obsession that they start to believe everyone is what they are obsessing over. That's actually interesting, but that's not what happens here. Um, I think Oreo's a vampire, so maybe she's a bit cold. Anyway, uh, he I won't know until he tells me. I mean, it's about right, so... Um, so this is chapter 12, it's Cole again, obviously. Um, today I was talking with Oreo, and she told me she was a vampire. So, she didn't want us to- okay, that was just she. That was fascinating, I guess she felt guilty about biting her or some shit. Um, wow. Well, I will not tell Sparkles this at all. I just found out Sparkles was spying on us during that conversation. So now I suppose she suspects that Oreo bit me. Last night I had a dream that I was on the, on the Titanic. Um... Meh? The... Okay... Titanic it is then. It was- I wasn't just on the Titanic, but... There were people talking about the captain being a vampire, and that he drove into the iceberg on purpose. <laughs> I told you guys it was only gonna get more fucking bizarre from here. Oh my god, what is going- what the fuck? <laughs> They say he was wearing blindfold. Ah, of course, because the other people in the fucking in the fucking place with him wouldn't notice that. The doy. He was part of a plot to kill Oreo. So you're telling me that Oreo's old enough to have been on the Titanic in the twenties? What the fuck? At that point, I wake up, and I had enough of this silliness. Start wondering if this dream was trying to tell me something. How would somebody saw set sparkles to destroy Oreo? I decided to find out what. Sparkles was was with us since Whitewater. She was. What the fuck going on? Oh my god, my younger self. Chapter 13. Uh, another cold chapter. No sparkles this time. Is this the sparkles going outside? Decided to follow her. She walked until the sun came up. Okay. A few hours. I, 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 I just saw the You Are Leaving Wisconsin sign. Oh, okay. Of course, because you can walk from Madison as a cat out of Wisconsin by the time the sun goes down that 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 Okay Um, Vargas just stops and lay down like she was doing to sleep. Decided to sleep also. A few hours later I wake up to fast right away. We walked the one time. Finally saw a sign saying welcome Oklahoma. Okay. Hmm So as cats you managed to make it from Wisconsin to Oklahoma in like two in like a day and a half basically um, that, 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 that's not possible. Whatever. Um, um, stop there and rest for a week. Wake up on a Monday and start walking. We walk for a few miles, for miles, until I see a sign welcome to Texas. Oh, okay, well, why are you going to Texas? Why are you going to, why is she going to, what? It travels to the Austin airport. Sparkle finds a flight to Transylvania. Ah. Yes, because there'd be a flight to fucking Transylvania on a fucking American airline. A 
What the fuck is going on? Also, why didn't you just go to one in Wisconsin? There's air- there's airports in Wisconsin, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. I'm thinking, hey, what the- she got nuts. Meanwhile, we wait for the plane to get ready. We watch TV. I see a news bulletin. There is a family in Madison, Wisconsin, looking for their two lost cats. Colin Speck. That's not a newsworthy- Also, I'm just imagining two cats sitting on those chairs in an airport watching the TV and no one's fucking paying- No one's- no one's noticing, no one's being like, what the hell? What's that? That's- What is going on? If we hear the announcement, anyone on the flight of Chancellor should board now. Hmm, of course, totally, that makes sense. Um, what the fuck is this? Okay, another cold chapter, apparently. Oh my god. The next few hours were the, st were the saddest. I was homesick, but I it ended when we got to Transylvania. I followed Sparkles for an hour until she reached the scariest place that I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. Uh, of course, of course you did. Of course you saw the most terrifying place you've ever seen in your life. That's totally what happened. Um, how- It was a really dark castle. So dark that it blended into the forest. Oh, so now we're at Dracula's castle, I suppose. There was- There- There was one gargoyle on the roof overlooking the front door. In the darkness, it seemed like there were more. Oh, okay, so some rhyming. There was one gargoyle on the roof overlooking the door. In the darkness, it seemed that there were more. Hmm, fun. In the dark, like, I wondered if I was hallucinating. That's not how you spell that word. I'm not gonna give it, I'm... Mm. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, I thought I saw something move by the front door, but then I realized it was just sparkles. So I ran towards her as I approached the castle. So as I approached her, the castle seemed even more unwelcoming. I didn't like the outside and followed Sparkles through the cat door and the front door. What? There's a fucking cat flap on a castle in Transylvania. <laughs> Ace. Ace. Fucking wow. The inside of the castle isn't any better but than the outside. All the lights were turned off. The only light came through a few candles. As I was moving down the hallway, the shadows on the wall was really creepy. I almost died of fright when I saw it was another shadow besides Sparkles and Clum. Sparkles and mine. It seemed like a human, but it was wearing a cape. Oh my fucking god, I was right. It's Dracula. I haven't read this in a while, so that actually was genuinely, like, me trying to predict where I was going. Oh my fucking god. The hell is going on? All of a sudden, I grew very cold. I started running very fast through the front door. But the cat door vanished before I got there. Oh, so we have, we, we, we have magic now. There's, there's magic in this book now. There's magic in this story now. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? I mean, two cats walked to fucking... Austin from Wisconsin in like a week or a week. So, my, oh my god. Oh my god. I was terrified. I started to calm myself down when a strong gust of wind blew across the room and put out all the candles. That's when it got scary. Ah, it wasn't scary before when you when you said you almost died of fright and you were terrified and you were at the most scary place you've ever seen in your life. Ah, uh, yes, now it got scary. Not before when you literally said you were terrified. Like, literally a sentence ago. No, that does- no, nah, no. Totally not. <laughs> Sparkle seemed to be doing just fine. I called, is there anybody here? Those were the first words I'd spoken in a long time. I don't think a week qualifies a long time, but okay, buddy. I heard Sparkle say, Cole, how have I not noticed you these past weeks? Week. It's been like a week and two days, dude. Maybe a week and a half. Maybe a week and a day and a half. I don't fucking know. But before she could answer, I found myself being picked up by someone. Then Sparkles answered, I don't know. I got a letter in the mail a few weeks ago. Tell me if I came here, they'd give me a lifetime supply of food. Hmm, of course. I guess I didn't see you because I was too busy thinking about what I was going to do with all that food. Eat it. 
It's food. You eat it. Fucking hell. Um, we were being carried toward a room lit up with an eerie green light. Oh no, such a scary color. Oh my god, what the fuck? Chapter 15. Um, well, we're almost at the end. Amazing. Fun. Chapter 15. Hi, it's me again. Sparkles and Gola gone missing. I saw them leave the house a week ago. Okay, so now I'm even getting the, cr the chronology messed up because I said weeks in the last chapter, but now it's a week. Interesting. Fun. Um, anyway, I just found a letter that said, Sparkles, come to Transylvania from the Austin Airport. I'll give you a lifetime supply of food. It was signed D. Hmm, of course. Why, why it have to be Austin? Why, why, why? What? I don't, what the fuck is going on? Okay, cool. Uh, I have a pretty good idea who D is, so I left and flew to Transylvania. Oh, okay, so you can turn into a bat then. Interesting. Uh, chapter 16. It turned out that the door was actually the back door of the castle. And the figure, the figure threw us out and slammed the door. That's when I saw a bat flying above us. It turned into a familiar sight. It was Oreo. How the hell did she get there so fucking fast? She literally just found the note. And the next chapter, it's the same situation. They just got picked up and thrown out. But somehow she's there. The fucking... <laughs> the chronology makes no sense. There's no logic here. Oh, it's such a fucking funny shit. Oh my god. And then Sparkles burst out. I knew she was a vampire. And Horio said, what the heck are you doing out here? Don't you know this castle is dangerous? We do now, yelled Sparkles. Some cloaked figure was in that castle. Don't you know that this is Dracula's castle? But then we must have been too loud. The door opened. We started to run, but we got caught. We came toward the door, but then it went black. What? Okay, so you were gassed or something, I guess. I don't know. Oh my god, what is fucking happening? Ugh. Oh my god, why? Okay, um, chapter 17. Hi, I'm Oliver. Sparkles, Cole, and Oreo have gone missing, which is great. What? How is that great? But there are still problems here. Yesterday, my owners took me to the vet and I got poked in the butt, not once, but four times. Oh, of course. Of course. That's your issue. That you got shots. Of course it is. Um, it, it Sparks before she left that Oreo is a vampire. And then yesterday, Oreo turned to a bat and flew away. All I could say to that is, what the heck happened to Oreo and why is she a bat? Oh, gotta go, just saw the possum. Bye. Of course, that totally makes sense. Uh, chapter 18. I just saw a bottle fall through a hole in the ceiling and crash into a million pieces in the floor. There's a note inside that said, where are you? And it was signed OT. Okay, so somehow he managed to send a fucking... What? I I have somehow managed to become drunk, even though I've never been drunk in my fucking life, and I haven't drunk any alcohol. Just from fucking reading this, I feel like I'm going insane. This is- What is going on? So, Aria wants to know where we are, and I'm wondering how we got that bottle to file away here. Yeah, me too. That makes no fucking sense. Oh my god, what the fuck? Chapter 19. I just made a rock out of a bottle and sent it into the air, hoping it would get to sparkles and cool. The fuck? The letter just landed outside the door. So Richard's leaving you for heaven's sake. How are they communicating so fast? Especially considering they're in a fucking sh they're in a fucking cell right now. They're in a dungeon or something. It's a smell rocket. Okay. A letter's we're in Shenzhen for heaven's sake. Oh, I could say that was how the heck they get transfer. Why are they there? God, your thoughts are so fucking simple. Uh, chapter 20. We just learned that Dracula wanted to take over the world with the help of Oreo. That's never going to happen. Uh, okay, what are you going to do about it, you cats? 
He locked us in the room, and we heard some something drive away. We finally made it out of the room and found a GPS for finding someone. Oh, of course, that that's totally a thing that exists in this universe and in reality. So apparently, Deus Ex Machina GPS is our thing now. Interesting. That's how Dracula. That's how Dracula knew where to send the letter. Okay. So they typed in Dracula's name, and it said he was nowhere to be found, but he could be in space. He also took Oreo with him. We decided we need to rescue Oreo because she had warned us about Dracula's castle. Sparkles did not like the idea whatsoever. We go outside and Dracula made it easy for us by leaving a rocket behind. So either he's helping us or it's a strap. We get into the rocket and discover one small problem. How do you fly a rocket? It turns out there is an autopilot. We push the button and a screen pops up. It gives us three options. Dracula's location, the surface of the sun, or Venus. Oh, of course. This is definitely a trap. 100% a trap. Ace, you go, you're gonna get killed, you're gonna get fucking sucked to your blood or whatever, get grief. Um, this is obvious Dracula's location. We press that button for a few seconds, we're lost somewhere in space. Oh, the window is completely dark, no stars or anything. Dracula's realizes that Dracula's location might be a black... You'd be fucking dead if it was the black. You'd be fucking dead instantly. Or you can say anything or being pulled towards something. It turned out to be a giant spaceship. Once we got inside and found Oreo in a cage, the door opened and it was Dracula. Great timing, I said. Right when we thought Dracula was going to get us, he fell to the floor and disappeared. We realized there was no chance to escape, so we grabbed Oreo and just jumped back in our ship. We actually I got an airplane and flew back of Madison. What, you couldn't have done that in your spaceship? You can just phone down from fucking the ether and fuck what the fuck? We turn, I told Sparkles about the previous incident where Oreo had bitten me. Walked off, I haven't heard a word since. The end. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, no. Okay, I can't take any more of that. My brain hurts. Oh my god, my brain fucking- what in the hell? Younger me, you were insane, okay? What was that shit? Thanks for watching, I guess. I need to stop.